Hello, I'm Lowell Martin and this is MCC Today. You're going to want to watch. On today's show, we have Leanne Motes, Deborah Nettles, and Sheila Johnson. We have a lot of information. We're going to talk body parts. You got to watch. Meridian Community College. For more than 75 years, we've helped students soar. Establishing the first tuition guarantee program in Mississippi, we put our students first while creating pathways into the workforce and offering a seamless transition to a four year degree. Now is the time to find your purpose and register today because those who move forward never get left behind. MCC, find your wings. And we have the wonderful Miss Sheila Johnson here today. Now, Miss Johnson, you are the program coordinator for the Medical Lab Technology. Yes. MLT. Uh, MLT program, which is a very valuable program here at Meridian Community College. And uh, uh, typically speaking, every semester you take how many new students? It's not every semester. It's every year. Once a year. Every right. August we take 15 new students. Okay. So once a year. Okay, so uh, uh, you take 15 new students yes. coming in. And what type of prereqs do they have to have to be able to get into your program? Technically, right now we don't have any prereqs okay. in the sense of our program is, has been um, coordinated so that with your curriculum, um, you could get all of the courses, even the gen ed courses that you need um, for graduation from our program to get an AAS degree. You okay. can get all of those within that two year time frame. Excellent. Um, it will not be easy. I'm not going to promise that it would be, but it can be done. We've had students who've done it before and certainly have been very proud of them. They've passed certification and just sure. done wonderful. But um, it, it won't be the easiest route, but it, it actually can be a little bit easier now because of dual credit. Okay. We have, I know two students right now in our current first year class that did at least um, four classes while in high school mm -hmm. because they knew they were wanting to apply to our program. So they went ahead and got those courses out of the way. They graduated last May, June, whatever, and they are now almost finished with their first year of our program. So they will have a degree that they can go get a job two years after graduation, Excellent. which is amazing. Excellent. Yes. So if they do, if they, if, if it's uh, if their gen ed courses are incorporated into the program, is it? It's a little bit over two years. It no, takes no, a little bit over it's two all, years. It's exactly it's all within that two years. years. Okay, yes, okay, gotcha, yes. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, it will make you a little less competitive. Okay. Now, what we mean by that is. And um, let me start with, we are working toward choosing students for next August right? right to okay. begin the program again. You want to be competitive. Competitive sure. means that when we get ready, we as a committee, there's about six people on the committee, and we will sit down and we will go through our selection process. Mm -hmm. It is a blind admission, which means that we don't have any names, we don't have any identifiers such as socials, no student IDs or anything. But there are only 15 slots. Correct. So, you, so you're if I've got 40 applicants, right. 50 applicants, I'm only going to pick 15. And I okay. want to pick the highest 15 of those ever how many I have. Okay. So th I'm going to choose the ones who have a higher GPA, okay. who have, um, if you've taken Accuplacer, higher Accuplacer scores. If you've chosen to take an ACT, higher ACT scores or if you do have any college credits. Okay. So that's why those two students who are in our first year were competitive. They Excellent. had taken okay. some college level classes, therefore making themselves more competitive than someone who coming to us straight out of high school had nothing. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that you could not potentially get in. It is still right. an option. Sure. It is just going to be slightly less okay. of an option. So, so. It, even though you said there were, there were no prereqs, but they they do have to have graduated to high school. Certainly. And they yes. have to have either have a GED or graduated from Correct. high school. Correct. And okay. either have taken ACT or, or take the Accuplacer okay. here on campus. And so. now, I believe you have some information sessions Correct. coming up. Yes. Now, when are they and what does that entail? Okay. For each class coming in that okay. we are going to be selecting about June, 
um, they would start in August. And in order to be um, considered for um, selection during that, you have to have participated in an MLT information session. Okay. This will be the first year that we are um, being allowed to offer this in two different formats. Excellent. Okay. Um, up until last year, we only did face-to-face. -face. And then last year, with um, all of the issues um, and not being here on campus, we moved to an online format, mm -hmm. which worked out very well for us. But now that we're back to somewhat normal, um, uh, we have Not been allowed to do yet. both. Okay. So we're actually going to, going to do that because we know that some students want to be able to come in, see the classroom, see the instructors, get that one-on-one, -on -one, that personal, that, that you know. Sure. Um, so here, here are the options. Okay. You are either going to be able to do an information session through Canvas. Okay. That will be the online version, okay? Um, that course is set up and ready to go. It is a very easy course. It's just got the information that we present during a face-to-face -face session. And then it has um, a very short little quiz letting, them, letting us know that you participated and also asking, do you want to be considered for selection? Okay. So that's it. It's, it's not that difficult. Probably won't take more than, I don't know, 30 minutes at the maximum to do okay. that. Um, that's one option that will open up April the 1st okay. and it will run through June the 1st. Okay. Okay. Then your second option is going to be once again that face-to-face -face that we've always traditionally done. We're going to have two of those sessions. The first session is going to be May the 11th. The second session will be May the 17th and both of them will be at 10 a.m. in the MLT classroom which is classroom 307 in the Riley Health Building. Okay. We will be more than happy to give directions or instructions on how to get there to anybody. Um, we will have lists of those students. Um, those students who have chosen MLT as their major will get a letter indicating all of this information to them. But if there's any students out there who are undecided, not sure, if you chose a different major, whatever, you might not get that letter. They can always contact me. Okay. I can email them the information. Um, I can give it to them over the phone. We want all students to be well informed about the fact that we have two different options this year. What is your contact information? Okay, my contact them? information is going to be if they would like to call, which okay. I, would, I would love for them to call. They can leave a voicemail if I'm in class, but my phone number to my office is 601 484 8755. Okay. okay. And if they would choose to, uh, or would rather, I guess, um, choose an email, then they can just email me and that will also come straight to me at um, S J O H N S 29 at meridiancc.edu. Okay. So that's S Johns 29. Okay. At Meridian. And so they have to, for the in phase, do they have to register for one of the sessions? Correct. And the to... reason that we're having to do that this time um, in that manner is because of space availability. We can yes. only take 12 students for okay. each of those two sessions. Okay. Um, so we will need to know in advance that they are wanting to choose one of the face-to-face. -face. Um, the online, they, they do not do... have to. They can do that anytime between April the 1st and June the 1st. Okay, but um, they have to have attended one of those sessions one of the two to options. be considered yes. for the program. Right, to be considered selecting that in that process that we're going to be doing okay. in the middle of June. Yes. Okay. Now, if they if they're coming to the face to face, is there anything that sh they should bring with them? Uh, is there any there it's themselves. an information session, but is there anything that they should uh, uh, bring with or have no. with them? No. Uh, we don't need um, we will be telling them those things that they will need if they are selected. Okay. But we don't need like um, any any kind of vaccination record. That's okay. all once you are selected, okay. and they we give them all of that information when they first start in August. We start telling them, hey, we're going to need this by this date and that. And it's such so. a good program, and it's it, it opens up many many doors. It really does for yes. students, and it is an essential. Uh, 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 work or, or essential um, it employment. Could be so, one of yes. the most essential right now. We do all the testing for COVID. <laughs> so definitely. So. Tell us when, say again when the sessions are, the information, the in person information sessions okay. are. The in person is going to be May the 11th. Okay. And then there's one on May the 17th. I picked two different days of right. the week for those. Um, they are both at 10 a.m. and they are both going to be in our MLT classroom, which is in the Riley Health Building, room 307. 
and I will be happy to give directions to anybody that can't find us. <laughs> okay, listen, thank you so much for being with oh, you us. you are welcome. And I want to have you again, as always. You're always such a great you guest. You know, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Since 1996, the MCC Foundation Tuition Guarantee Program has provided students an opportunity to find their potential. Thousands of students have benefited from the program. Over $6 million have been invested in the students who learn and live right here in our community. This program is funded by individuals and businesses who believe in our students, our families, and the economic impact of an education at Meridian Community College. Now is your chance to offer support. Give today at meridiancc.edu slash give. We are here with the wonderful Miss Deborah Nettles. Now, Miss Nettles, you are a career and retention advisor, and I've known you for many, many years, many years. and you, you've had a, a few hats during that time. And I'm so, but you've been the career and technical advisor for for a while now. Mm -hmm. And how's everything going? It's going good. We're busy, really busy. Which is a good thing. That is a very good thing. Okay. Um, it's fun I hear that there are some things happening. Some exciting things happening, and that's okay. why I'm, I'm glad to have the opportunity today. Thank you. Sure. Um, part of one of, some of my duties is uh, advising students in industrial technology. So okay. we've got a lot of exciting things going on in industrial technology. Um, and most people know that through the workforce building. First of all, we've got two new programs that are now in workforce that I think last time I was here, they were on campus. Okay. So they were in Raleigh Hall, so now they're in the Workforce Center. And that's 3D CAD engineering okay. and then systems-based electronics. So they're heard, down there. I've heard so many good things about both mm -hmm. of those programs. They have a brand new lab in Oklahoma. the Workforce uh, uh, building. Yeah. Okay. And so we've got those two that have mm -hmm. moved down to They've workforce down development. Right. Anything else going on down there? We do. Um, plenty of things. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about construction, electrical. Those are two one-year certificate programs, and they're doing projects. Uh, that's keeping them busy. Uh, we have the industrial uh, maintenance technician program that's mm -hmm. now added some new classes. A lot of people, you hear people talk about PLCs. Mm -hmm. um, they've added a new PLC class. They've also added a class called mechatronics. What and that's that? a new mechanical, um, a combination of mechanical and electrical system controls that run robotics. Wow. So we see that in the manufacturing field, and our students are being taught that. So we're excited to have that. So that's well, under mechatronics. With industrial maintenance now, wasn't the, isn't welding a component of that as well? Is they that, do or is learn, it still? Mm -hmm, they okay. do learn welding in that program. And then, of course, we also have a one-year welding program, Okay. which that's been popular. Um, also, you know, commercial truck driving, we're excited about that. That's yes. rolling, and uh, we have a brand new uh, labeling on our trucks. If you go out, you see the bright green, so now it's even more visible. Mm -hmm. So those have been popular. So many times they can, students can go for a one-year cer certificate, mm -hmm. or they can go for the two-year AA degree. That is correct. What is the difference between the two? Why would you go get an AA degree over a certificate or vice versa? Okay. Some students just want the skills, and okay. usually the certificate part is the skill building, the hands-on. Okay. Then we give them the opportunity to come back one more year, add five academic classes, you know, that's like your English comp, your college mm -hmm. algebra, add that, and then you'll have an associate of applied science degree. And a lot of times when they go out in the industry to get a job, they can demand a higher pay on the associate degree versus the certificate, that. yeah. Okay, so, so the associate's degree you're going to... Usually it's Further a higher money, pay. Get, get more money, yeah. which, you know, let's face it, that's why we work. We love that's what we do, but we still need to be able to pay, pay the bills. bills. There you we go. got to pay the important. bills and, and hopefully important. have a little bit left over. There you go. But now in addition to, to the uh, um, career and technical mm -hmm. programs that we have going, anything else going on that, that, that we want to talk about? I really about? wanted to touch on one more program yes, yes, as yes, well yes, as yes, workforce. Please. Um, our precision machining, okay. because that's another brand new lab down in the workforce. Uh, you know, that has the option of the certificate and also the okay. associate degree. Um, but that program is really growing. And again, machinery, robotics, that's all in the wave of the future. And even in the pandemic, we found out that not just in manufacturing, but also in retail and customer mm -hmm. service, mm -hmm. where a lot of those companies now, you know, shipping and some other things, they're using robotics mm -hmm. to be able to ship the product to the um, to customers. So um, even in the pandemic, those are high demand careers. So. It's amazing to me to think of the changes that have occurred just in the time I've been here mm -hmm. at Meridian yeah. Community College. I'm so excited about what we're offering mm -hmm. and the new possibilities That's that true. we have. And I've said uh, uh, for many, many years, you know, because I came here and I was on the university transfer mm -hmm. track 
but that's not for everybody. There are a lot of more, a lot of people who are very hands-on, who are very, you know, let me get in and get these skills right. and move on. And they're still able to do well. They're still able to make good money right. and they're still able and to support themselves mm -hmm. and get, get good, good skills, skills and take those skills anywhere they right. want to take them. Right. It's not, you know, something that, it's not this, just a university track right. that gets you, you know, to travel other places right. or things like That's that. True. That's true. It's very interesting to me. Now, true. as an advisor, you know, we've got some things that are, you know, mm -hmm. going on in the, in, uh, at the college. Mm -hmm. What's been happening, or do we have, we have some new classes starting soon? We have new classes starting soon. Also, we're at midterm, which Ooh. is that halfway point. Ooh. Um, that's our favorite time, of course, under the retention side, where we find out how they're, how they're going, you know, how sure. it's going. Um, and if there's some things that need to be changed and improved, you've got time to do it. Um, and we want students to remember, you know, check their Eagle Net, make sure that they're still enrolled in all their classes. If they need another class, we do have online starting Monday, March okay. 15th. Yes, I'm teaching one of them. Yes, you yes. are. Yes, you are. That's a popular class, too. So um, hopefully we'll give you some more students pretty well, soon. Thank that. you. Appreciate that. But that's going to be Monday. And then, okay. you know, uh, spring uh, class registration for summer and fall is coming up. Okay, so we'll have uh, these, now with spring break, and I, I mean, excuse me, with midterms, mm -hmm. I tell my students all the time, it's like, look, this gives you a snapshot of where you are. That's right. And because we're coming to a point in the semester where, I hate to say it like this, but it's true, there's not going to be a lot that students can do to improve their grades, but there's still a lot that they can do to damage their grades. That's true you know and so you need to know where you are you need to know what's working and what's not working mm -hmm. and let's let's try to beef up what's working right. and fix it and fix it and, and quickly and it. yeah you know <laughs> you because you you offer you know because a lot of times we you know because I do teach mm -hmm. the college study skills class but you offer some study some skills seminars, training as yes. well some the some uh, workshops some workshops that that you know and I think they both I think they play well together mm -hmm. both of those uh, anything else that's coming up that, that um, you want to talk about? I really about? want to especially make sure that students know their dates that okay. are coming up, which okay. again for summer and fall registration for current students, that will start April 7th. And okay. then April 19th would be for brand new students, those who haven't been here before or maybe if they've been a, a break a year or something since they've been here. So that'll be here in, in less than a month. Oh my gosh. Yes, and we'll be talking about summer and then oh fall gosh. and then it keeps going. Yeah. Oh my God. Well so. now, so if you are a, a returning student, mm -hmm. then and you'll be able to just get online mm -hmm. and, and set up your own set classes. Set up your own classes. Okay. Um, if you don't have any holds on your account. That is right. Okay. Yes, Which so. some people, sometimes they don't even know that there is a right. hold on their account right. for. So check it's usually their some very now. minor something. That's true. Check their Eagle Net now. Um, also, graduation. Those students who are graduating, the application deadline is March 31st. So for that, they need to apply for graduation. Those who are graduating in May. Now I noticed because your retention, you're advising in retention that you tend to get to know students mm -hmm. a little bit more, and I, I don't mean it. I don't mean that in a bad way. I, I just mean that you know. You, and we've talked about this many mm -hmm. times. You've noticed anything in particular that has changed over the years as far as students are concerned? Well, especially this past year, of course. You know, lots you of, still we've had lots of changes. This <laughs> a past lot of year. changes in this past year, <laughs> and then the way they. Uh, have been able to go through the challenges. Um, the biggest thing is now, you know, before they were in our offices, we knew them uh, by face, by name. Now, you know, they're emailing, uh, we're uh, messaging other ways. So that has changed mm -hmm. in one way. Um, and in some ways, it's, it's a good thing because through social media, we've been able to, you know, really get a lot of our information out there. And I think that's good because they can respond right on their phone. They Sometimes can. I see them in the hallway, I'm like, are you Fine, texting yes. me, you know, are you emailing me? So yes, yeah, so that's a good thing. Yes. Technology has been a good a good move. But yes. you know, we still meet, need that person to person interaction. And too. you are so good with that. I I've, I've always you. been so, so impressed you. with that. So well, you. thank you. Listen, thank you so much for being here thank today. You and I want to invite you back. Okay. And very soon we're going to be talking about hopefully some gospel choir stuff because you're hopefully one of the advisors. So. And I look forward for that program to be coming okay. back as soon as we possibly can get it back. Yes. Okay, we'll see. Uh, or thank you for being thank here. Thank you. We'll be right back. With so much uncertainty in our world, we are thankful for the heart and determination of those who have followed their calling in healthcare. They work tirelessly on the front lines every day to make a true difference in our community. At Meridian Community College, we take pride in training these heroes and are grateful for their service in this time of great need. These eagles found their wings at Meridian Community College. And we 
have the wonderful Ms. Leanne Motes today, and you are the Campus Life Coordinator from Reading Community College. Yes. And you're everywhere. I, I mean, am. you're everywhere doing everything. <laughs> you were just telling me, what were you doing earlier today? You were repairing the tail feathers for our mascot. <laughs> so you're so, sewing feathers <laughs> on, Sunk. and you said that, that, that sewing through uh, uh, hide was... Sewing through that material is like sew, uh, sewing cowhide back together. It's so thick. Oh my gosh. Uh, but he's in great shape. He's going to be looking great for homecoming week. So that's, what, that's what you're here to talk about is homecoming week that will be here in very shortly. Right. It's the week of March 22nd through the 27th. It's immediately following spring break. And you say that we have a lot of big things planned this it's the year. the biggest event that I've been involved with and I've been here five years and it's, wow. it has turned into the biggest event. What kind of stuff is um, going to be happening? Well we have uh, a lot of student related, a lot of alumni related and community related. Okay, good. So we'll start with the students. Um, they'll have four, five, six opportunities to uh, enjoy the fun and prizes. We have dress up days each day. Okay. They'll post it on social media and can win a $25 gift card. Can you give me an example of what kind of dress up? Or we have just heroes just, and villains. Okay. Um, Tacky Tourist, okay. Way Back Wednesday, and Spirit Day. Can teachers get involved they in They can. I've okay. already got my costumes ready. I'm okay. going to be the coolest hippie you've ever seen. Okay, okay. Um, uh, so that's this Monday through Thursday of okay. that week. We have uh, what we're calling Homecoming Olympics okay. for the students. It's out of the soccer field from 7 to 9 on Tuesday the 23rd. Um, it's going to be minute to win it type games with gift card prizes and snacks and music and, and just a great way to hang out. Good. Uh, we have a scavenger hunt, as we've, that's the one thing that we've had before. Uh, it's really big this year. I made it harder and longer and more intriguing. So, oh but goodness. there's a gift basket that's displayed at the Quave now. Uh, it's worth over $100. Wow. Uh, that's fun. Then we have TikTok Thursday. Okay. Okay. TikTok Thursday. Uh, the students can make a video showing their MCC spirit. We left it a little bit vague, a little bit open. Uh, we're going to be giving away two $100 gift cards for that. One will be for the most likes and one will be for the most creative. Okay. So it's not just necessarily for the person that has that many followers, it's creativity. Uh, and then for the students that Thursday night, we'll round it out with Hype Night where we went to like we did in the fall. Uh, it's free admission for MCC students uh, from 7 to 10 that Thursday night. It's going to be a blast. They the had last a great time, time, I was about to say, time. the last time, I, I kept hearing so many people talk about the last time that y'all did that mm -hmm. and how wonderful it was and how it much was. fun they had. Go-karts, uh, axe throwing, laser tag, uh, it's, it's, it, was a, it was great. Okay. And we're going to enjoy it again. Now, is, is uh, any other events that we have? That's, that's the for Thursday the students. Night. Okay. That's for that's student for students. Okay, mm -hmm. so what, what else is... Well, on Thursday, the 25th, we're dedicating the Ivy Skaggs building Okay. Uh, in honor of our former president, Dr. Skaggs. That'll be at 1 o'clock at the flagpole. Okay. Immediately following that at 2, from 2 to 4, is the Hall of Fame reception, and we'll have four inductees into that. Um, Whoa, okay. Uh, due to, we have that live stream where you can watch that so that there won't be uh, too much overcrowding for social distancing. You can go to youtube.com slash MCC is the one, the, okay. the numeral one. Okay. And you watch that live stream for our uh, inductees for that. Okay. Friday the 26th, we're having an alumni golf tournament. Now, we've always had a golf tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, Coach Key does a great job with that. We're making this bigger and better. Okay. Seems to be our motto, bigger and better. <laughs> uh, but we encourage everybody to go and register for that. Um, it's We have a web page. It's meridiancc.edu slash homecoming2021. That has all of this information, but it will have the registration for the golf tournament which is Friday. It's a shotgun start Friday at 1 at Briarwood. We have lots of prizes, lots of giveaways. It's, it's really going to be fun. Will it cost anything when you register? I believe, I'm not 100% sure. Okay. I'm going to say it's $40, 40 but I'm not 100% okay. sure. Okay. Uh, then we have on Saturday morning another alumni tennis mixer. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, at from 9 to 11 that okay. morning at the, at the Wanda McPhail tennis court mm -hmm. that we have here. Mm -hmm. uh, on that web page, you can go have the registration for that. Okay. That's $20 per person. Okay. Um, then, then, now this is Saturday. This is the actual homecoming day. So we have that uh, tennis mixer. We have a basketball game going on at 12. 
At two, we have we start off with a doubleheader baseball team playing Coahoma, and we will crown our queen, crown our queen, in between games. Okay. We have four maids up for nomination for queen, and they'll all be introduced, and we'll have that picked. I want to stress, though, on Saturday, we're going to have bouncy houses, free giveaways, foam fingers, um, snow cones. It's going to be a great day just to bring your family out and just hang out, watch and some great baseball. Come? Yes, anyone okay. can come. Anyone can come. Mm -hmm. Okay. That day, I did forget there was one more alumni situation at 1 o'clock on that Saturday in the Quay Student Life Center. Uh, it's an alumni association. We've just started that association and it's a reception uh, for anyone on that and the 20-year Ivy League recruiter reception. We've done that for 20 years. Wow. All those former uh, recruiters have been invited back uh, for a reception, free entry to the ball game. It's going to be a great day. March 27th, you want to definitely come out to NCC. Now tell us the home page again so they can get all of this information about <clears throat> homecoming. That's meridiancc.edu slash homecoming 2021. Now I'm so now why have we decided to go so big this year? Is it because we didn't really have one last year? Because well, we actually, went on spring break and never came back. Actually we had it right before <laughs> that was our last event and then we, we all had right. to go out. Uh, well we've just decided we're really focused on MCC now about um, boosting our alumni, boosting our spirit, getting involved in the community and just like I said going bigger and going better. Well, I've so. noticed that in the five years that you've been here, the student participation has gone way up. Okay. Oh, because I, you know, before that, we we didn't, you know, we had some, and people would come through and all, but not nearly as many as as we've had since your tenure as you know as well, I, coordinator. I'm glad of that because that's one, been one of our really goals. Student engagement mm -hmm. is vital to well, students. I say, success. how do you how do you approach getting more students to stay and to participate in these events? incentives, prizes. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, my biggest motivator is food. I've yet to meet a college student that's not hungry and or broke. Or a teacher. <laughs> Free food, hungry and broke. <laughs> um, just building friendships, building connections, mm -hmm. just fun, interesting things to do. Um, we have a karaoke coming up in April. Oh my. That's going to be fun in the gym. Oh my. Yeah. There are going to be so. some people I'm going to have to go give me that mic. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking about getting faculty and staff involved too, maybe have a that a would sing be. off or something. So do we'll you think in the, in the future we're going to have more, more and more with uh, as far as alumni uh, yes, uh, yes, participation uh, in? The foundation has established the Alumni Association and they're, they're doing more outreach and more outreach and it's growing and then so yes. I want to have you on after homecoming so we can dissect it and talk about how good it was and and all and possibly you know things that we'll do next time. Okay. How's that? Sounds great. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. We'll be right back. Not essential. Never let anyone tell you that again. Never doubt your abilities to make a difference. How do I know this about you? Because I'm a teacher. I am the one who will push you harder and farther than you could have ever imagined. Teach you things that you never thought possible. And if you will give me 100%, then I will stand shoulder to shoulder with you and together we will change your future. MCC, find your wings. On behalf of Matt Milner, executive producer, Josh Taylor, our media consultant, and our student producers, Jalen Vance and Ty Burridge, thank you for watching. Hope you learned just a little bit, and we'll see you later.